All right, hello, and welcome to a quick and down and dirty tutorial on how to go from Flux AI to uh, Copper Cam to the Carvera to mill out a circuit board. So, we're going to do the design layout of the board in Flux, lay out the tool paths in Copper Cam, and then actually mill it with the Makehara Carvera and the controller app that they provide. All right, so to begin, we're going to start in Flux. Obviously, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, take a, a template file, uh, trying to reduce as much um, variables and weird stuff. So um, I'm going to go open our design up and show you the couple things you need to check for. Um, so once it finally loads, once it decides it wants to load for the day, the Internet is very slow, by the way, today. So I go to PCB, 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 come on computer. All right, the board comes up, select under objects, go to layout. And then the layout rules, make sure that there is a size attribute and make sure there is, of course, uh, make sure there's a dimension unit with millimeters filled in. So once you verify that, um, file, or lack of better term, file, and then export. And export. And the Gerber RS two seven four X two blah 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 zip file. Um, you go ahead and save, hit that, and then that'll download to your desktop. And then with that, we'll get into Copper Cam. Uh, and then also make sure you obviously uh, um, export everything out of the zip file once your desktop or wherever you want to save it. So let's go ahead and close this out. All right, we've got Copper Cam open up now. So let's start with File, Open, New Circuit. You're going to navigate to where you saved and exported the uh, contents of the zip file from Flux. It's going to default you to the solder side. So we're going to go ahead and select that as, and this might vary based on your design if you put the components on the other side of the board or however you design it, but you might play with this. But for me, the solder side is going to be the one that ends in tack f underscore cu dot gbr for the copper. Hit OK. The component side is going to be the one that ends in tack bravo underscore cu dot gbr. Just going to select it. And then your drill file should be the only one that ends with .drl. So select that. Hit OK. It's going to give you some errors about the whole sizes, but we'll fix that in a minute. So hit no. Is this a valid file? Yes. And then I'd set with the default set contours. It'll go ahead and build things, and then it'll give you that error message one more time. You hit no. And then the output will go ahead and cancel out that because we're going to make some changes first. All right. So what we got to first do is add the uh, another layer. So file open additional layer this time and look for the one that ends in edge cuts dot GBR. Cause that's what's going to be let the milling machine actually cut the board out from the, uh, the copper blank. So hit okay. And you're, it's going to give you the error stuff again. And it's going to ask, please confirm that the highlighted track defines a cutting contour path. Hit yes. But now you know it's like it looks a little jonky, like it's not quite centered. So let's make some fixes. So to, to, to fix this the best I know how, first we're going to go to File, Rotate 90 Degrees. Um, then we're going to go ahead and we're going to add a little bit of uh, wiggle room around the board. So we're going to go File Dimensions. And then let's make it five millimeters all the way around. So we're going to reframe around existing circuitry. We're going to give ourselves a little bit of a margin. Uh, actually, let's do 10. Yeah. And then set the Z thickness, which is the height or the thickness of the circuit board, your copper blank. You can measure that with a pair of calipers if you want, but 1.5, 1.6 is probably pretty good for most. So hit OK. You can notice now we've got this nice, beautiful extra 
It's, we're going to keep getting this error message till we fix the bit. So hit no. But now you notice still the the edge cut is kind of weird and janky and the origin's right in the middle. We don't want that because we want to, when we put our blank into the uh, milling machine, we're going to start at the bottom left corner. So let's make those fixes real quick. So first, go up to file, go to origin, set the origin to zero, zero. All right. And if we zoom down a little bit, there it is down the bottom left now let me there we go so we can see everything all right now we've got to kind of fix the edge cuts so I hit this number six here that'll highlight the board but then if you hover over it uh, and right click you're going to get set horizontal center horizontally then click that again and hit center vertically and now boom everything looks pretty um and the board is uh kind of you know re ready to do some of the final like, touches real quick so we'll do the final render and then uh so let's let's go now let me go check my notes here and make sure we go and get tackle everything i want to tackle uh bum, bum, bum. all right so let's go up to parameters let's first set the output data file so you want your output data file to be g code iso standard change everything with these scales um to kind of look like this and then hit ok and then we want to go to our tool library and set up our tools, our different milling bits. So um, you're going to probably want to pause through each one of these. Um, and then this number is going to be corresponded. Um, uh, we'll later we'll, we'll set up the, the actual tool path. But uh, to, to stay consistent with that, for, from here on out, make sure you kind of copy these and put them in this order. So uh, there's going to be five tools. So you're going to fill out everything like this and then step up to number two, fill out all the information about number two, three, four, and five, which the last bit will be, if you want to use the solder mask, this will remove that UV solder mask. Um, with, so once you have all five of the bits in your tool library, hit okay. Then go back up to parameters, selected tools. And this is what you want to set for uh, your engraving tool, your hatching tool. We're not going to do any hatching here. That's if you really want to like remove all the copper around traces, but that's I haven't really needed to do that. Your cutting tool, your centering tool, and then um, uh, our drill bits. So then drilling depth, um, just basically set everything uh, by default, I mean you're probably going to again tweak these as you as you move forward for your own needs. But uh, as a as a starting point, here's the here's the numbers you want to put in. Then hit OK. We're going to go ahead and yep, I'm not going to reduce those. Make our sure our tools. So there's all the things we have to drill. We hit OK. Um, Let's see here. Yep. So just making sure last check our last things. Um, is this not letting me? All right, so here we go. Real quick, we gotta. We want to tell that the contours even go around the pads. So we hit OK. Apply to all layers. Hit OK. Now, if you notice on the copper, 
we actually are going to mill around each individual pad and leave a little bit of copper. Um, obviously, if we had made traces, um, they would be going off. But for our purposes, just a tutorial. So if you don't see the, um, if by default you don't see the your pads cut out, uh, hit this number two. Go over to uh, your uh, calculate the contours. Press this guy. Make sure it's all set up and apply to all layers. Hit OK. It'll do the, and then you should have your um, your pads uh, ready to be milled out. Um, I think at this point, if I if I remember correctly, looking through my notes here, I think we're pretty much set. Um, so what we're going to do next is go up to the uh, to basically mill it. Again, no, we don't want the. Here's the order that um, again, turn off the mirror X. Uh, south the X Y zero points in the southwest corner. Here's the three sections we're going to cut out. Um, if you were going to do the solder mask, you would probably turn off section four and uh, add that to um what we're going to do for milling the pads and that or set this as its own output uh, but if you're just doing a blank um of course all right um if you're doing just a blank board um you can turn that back on and have it all in one swoop so we hit okay Give it a second, you'll get a G code file. File, save as, change this to .nc, November Charlie. Uh, I'll save this to our desktop. And now, if we open up the Carvera app, Make sure this gets inside the view screen here. You can go ahead and navigate to upload file and then navigate to our desktop and then find that .nc file. We just generate our G code file and hit open. There we go. We've now got something that the Carvera is ready to do. And if you zoom in, you can see all the layers it's going to take. So it's going to take it like what looks like one, two, three, four, five, six. About eight or so uh, passes, and then the drills, and then the milling to to take out uh, to separate each pad, and that's it. That's what I've learned in a nutshell. And I'll go ahead and as I learn more, if get feedback, we'll sh <clears throat> we'll share. But for now, that should get you started going from Flux to Copper Cam to Carvera to make your own printed circuit boards. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it.